Father God, not to go to places where you're not leading them to go. Father God, that's that turns out to be evil. Help them, Father God, not to hang around the wrong kind of people or be a, surrounded by the wrong kind of people or interact with the wrong kind of people that you will give them wisdom and, and have your angels to protect them from being around the wrong kind of people and talking to the wrong kind of people during these holiday seasons, Father, and not to get hooked up in ill relationships, bad relationships, Father God, out of loneliness or rejection or isolation or despair or nothing, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, that you will strengthen these lambs not to enter in any relationships that's sent by the devil, Father God, that's sent by the devil, released by the powers of darkness, but they will enter in any relationships that's sent by you, Father God, and that's promoted by the kingdom of righteousness, Father God, of your righteousness. And that these lambs will not enter into any relationships that's promoted by the kingdom of darkness, that's promoted by de- by the devil, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. And that you will help me too, Father God, in that area as well, Father God, because it's easy to do that when you're feeling alone, Father God, or isolated or in a dire situation or whatever, Father God. I pray, Father God, that you will strengthen the lambs not to do that and strengthen me too, Father God, and your people in Jesus Christ's name. And I pray, Father God, that you will help us not to tolerate any abuse or disrespect from other people, that you will teach us how to love ourselves like you want us to love others, Father God. And as we love ourselves, we will love others and help us to love you. Father God, your son, Jesus Christ, to love your son, Jesus Christ. I pray that for all the lambs, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father, I thank you for helping all the lambs to love themselves, Father God, and to hook up with the right people and that you will sharpen their discernment, Father God, to show them when people are not right and when people are right. For them, Father God, and that you will show them and guide them who to be around and who not to, who to talk to, and who not to talk to, who to open up to, who not to open up to, that you will do that for all the lambs, your people and myself as well, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I pray, Father God, that you will deliver the lambs from bullies, from oppressors, Father God, and that you will deliver me from the bullies and oppressors that come against me, Father God, every day including the neighbor bullies that come against me every day in Jesus Christ's name, that you would deliver all the lambs that are being bullied Father God, by hate stalkers that's being bullied by evil people. They don't have to be a stalker to be bullied, but Father God, that you would just deliver your people and the lambs and the innocents, Father God, and myself from bullies and controllers and handlers, Father God, and oppressors and persecutors and perpetrators in Jesus Christ's name, and that you would deliver us out of the hand of the devil into the hand of Jesus Christ, Father God, to your mighty, powerful, secure hand, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, and that you will rise up and fight for all the lambs out there that are being persecuted and bring justice for your people, justice for the lambs, justice for me, Father God. For all the lambs that's being persecuted by the persecutors and oppressors and the bullies and controllers and handlers, Father God, and the Satanists and the witches. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, I thank you for bringing liberty and freedom and justice, Father God, for all lambs, for your people and for myself that are being persecuted through any given slavery program, Father God, in this world, in America, and in Canada, Father God. I thank you for bringing justice is for me, Father God, as well, and liberty and freedom for me, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God, I give you glory and honor to you, Father God, I thank you for delivering us from bullies and that you release your judgment and your vengeance and your wrath upon all bullies that will not repent for the evils that they're doing against the innocents, against your people, against the lambs, and against me, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, I pray that you release your correcting fires and convictions upon them, Father God, upon the enemies that come against your lambs, that come against me, Father God, and that you will fill their faces with shame and confoundment, Father God, all the bullies that come against me and the lambs, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God.
I thank you for your supernatural intervention, Father. I thank you, Father God, for supernaturally intervening, that you are our defense and our refuge, Father God, in the times of trouble. You are there for us, Father. You are a God that is always there for us, and you will never leave us nor forsake us, Father God. You are our refuge and our strength, Father God. You are our rock and our shield and our fortress, Father God, our buckler, Father God, a high tower, Father God. You are our armor bearer, Father God. You are a leaning pole, post, Father God. You are a defender, Father God. You are a warrior, victorious fighting God that you are victoriously defeating every demon spirit that come against your people, that come against the lambs, that come against me, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, in the spiritual realm. And you are subduing our enemies, Father God, by your power and making them a base and making the enemy a shame, Father God, that rise against your people, that rise against the lambs and the innocents that rise against me as your child father God in Jesus Christ's name I thank you father God for bringing adjudication and eradication to this wickedness this foolishness of this slavery and this imprisonment that's connected to the, any of the slavery programs father God in our lives of all the lambs and the innocents from children to adults father in Jesus Christ's name and in my life as well in Jesus Christ's name, hallelujah, Father God. I give you glory and honor to you, Father God. You are a mighty God to save. Jesus, Jesus, you are mighty to save. You are mighty to save your people to save the lambs the lambs Jesus 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 Jesus
heaven and earth He will not allow your foot to slip He who keeps you will not slumber 